Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Silk and I wanted to check in on everybody, make sure everyone is doing well and staying safe. Since we have um, some extra time on our hands, I wanted to take a minute and discuss some of the diseases that we see in the eye clinic. Today, what I want to do is talk about keratoconus. Um, keratoconus is a disease that affects the cornea, the clear part of the eyes that lets light in. It should normally be round like a soccer ball, um, but in keratoconus, it becomes, it changes its shape to become more like an American football or a triangle. If we look at this piece of paper and we curve it just a little bit like this, this is what a normal cornea should look like. This is a good curvature. With keratoconus, that curvature changes, so it becomes more steep like this, and that really warps our vision. It creates a lot of astigmatism, causes a lot of symptoms like glare and halos at nighttime, a lot of nearsightedness that really um, affects the way that we see. Keratoconus usually starts in your late teenage years, tends to get worse as you get older, but once you reach about 40 years of age, then it tends to stabilize. Um, in the past, we really only had a few treatment options for keratoconus. Um, one of the treatments was a hard contact lens, um, if a hard contact lens didn't work, then our only other option was to do a cornea transplant surgery. Um, thankfully now, fast forward, we do have better treatment options. Number one, we have collagen cross-linking. Collagen cross-linking is a treatment that we do in the office that helps us stabilize the cornea, keeps things from getting worse. It's a combination of uh, eye drops that we put on your eyes for about 30 minutes. Um, the eye drops are riboflavin, which is a vitamin. After 30 minutes of the eye drops, we then shine UV light to your eyes. A combination of the UV light and the riboflavin helps make the cornea nice and strong and stiff, which helps to prevent the progression of the disease. Um, another option that we offer patients is intact segments. So intact segments are little plastic ring segments that we slide into your cornea with the help of a laser. And so this laser creates channels or passageways into your cornea and then we slide these ring segments in there. The ring segments, what they do is they help to flatten your cornea. So we really cut back on the nearsightedness and the steepness of the eye. Both of these procedures are, are very safe. Um, we do them in the clinic. Um, there are risks, but they are very minimal if uh, everything is done appropriately. And um, <clears throat> I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you'd like to discuss this in person, please come visit us. Um, our website is www.silkvision.net and uh, please see the attached patient testimonials to hear more about what these patients have said about their experiences with both these procedures. Thank you again and have a wonderful day. Okay. Oh, okay, great. All right, so you're one month after having uh, intact surgery in your left eye. Can you tell me what motivated you to have uh, surgery on the left eye? Uh, well, initially I went to get a uh, LASIK consultant uh, or consultation and uh, they looked and they saw that I had a condition in my eye. So, you know, I came in, um, talked with Dr. Silk. Uh, we went over a couple of options, you know, uh, and we felt that this was the best one to, to go with. So uh, that's pretty much how it went. Okay. And how was the surgical process? So full disclosure, I have a slight phobia, uh, maybe a big phobia of things touching my eye. Uh, and I was really concerned about that when we went into the procedure, but no, it was a really quick procedure. Um, you know, there's a lot of instruction given. Um, they even gave me something to hold on to <laughs> when I was nervous, but no, it, w it went well. Okay. And uh, what is your vision like now? So it is significantly better. Uh, I notice it a lot when I'm out playing sports or if I'm reading, uh, especially when I'm playing football. I can notice, um, you know, if someone throws the, the football, it used to take a while before I could, you know, kind of see it coming towards me. Now, as soon as the quarterback lets go of it, I can see it. So, yeah, and especially driving at night also. Uh, I used to be slightly terrified of driving at night and would try to avoid it, but now it's just like any other time. Okay, and last question. Would you recommend the surgery to other people who have keratoconus? Uh, I would definitely. Um, my results were, I don't know if they're standard or not, but they've been great for me. And uh, I know there's not a lot of information and literature out about the procedure and uh, this condition. So yeah, if someone did have it, I would definitely recommend it. Great, great. Well, we're so glad that you're doing well and we look forward to seeing you at your next uh, post-op visit. Thank you.
Okay, so you were diagnosed with keratoconus about a month ago. Uh, can you tell me what motivated you to seek out uh, collagen cross-linking for your right eye? I was told that it's the only uh, treatment besides a transplant that will keep me from progressing worse. Okay. And has the option to potentially reverse it. Okay, great, great. And can you tell me um, how was the process? Was it comfortable when you had the uh, procedure done? It was a little scary. Uh, I don't like things touching my eye, uh, but otherwise it wasn't a difficult procedure. Um, and the, the recovery was, was hard, but doable. You know, you definitely want to stay on the couch for a day or two afterwards. Okay. And how about keeping up with your eye drops and following up with your doctor? All those things were pretty straightforward for you, correct? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the, it becomes part of your routine. Okay. All right. And how are you doing now? How is your vision? It's only been a month, but uh, have you noticed any changes now? or? Oh, it's significantly better. Um, I don't see as much ghosting on the television or the computer screen. Uh, driving at night is easier. Uh, reading is easier. Everything is getting easier every day. Okay, great. We're so glad that you're doing well, and we look forward to seeing you at your next post-op visit. Thanks, Doc. You're welcome.